going to show you a couple of tools that I use for research and to be able to recall really good resources when I need them. So I'm on a website here and it's around um, the growth mindset uh, or changing from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. And I don't have time to read this right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to save it to Pocket. So here's the uh, icon for Pocket. So I'll just save it on there. And you'll see that it saved it so that I can read it later. And I'm also going to bookmark this website so that I can bring it up in a list of similar um, tags or, or keywords. And to do that, I'm going to put it into Digo. And it will save the URL, it will save the title, and I'm also going to add in some uh, tags. So some have been uh, chosen for me. And I could add in my own. There we go. And I can add it to a list. So these are all pre made lists uh, for my um, library. And when I'm done, I'll just press OK. And I could share it to a group. A group could be a, a class um, a class list. So all students, as they find useful websites, could share it to uh, that shared list or group. And when I'm done, I'm not going to make it private. Click Saved. And I'll have access to those pretty much straight away. So let's have a look at them. Right, I'll just find the apps. Okay, so let's go to Digo first. You can see that it's come to the top of my list and I can click on there and revisit the website. Now Digo is quite useful because you can highlight um, text, you can add sticky notes um, onto it and anyone who uh, has a Digo account can see your notes if they have notes turned on. Right, let's move out of there and I want to find, this is always the trouble isn't it, finding where you put your apps. Pocket, there it is. Now the great thing about Pocket is that it strips all of the advertising out of the website and it puts it into a format that's easily read for mobile devices, which is great for your students. And there it is. Okay, that's two resources that I use for research.